Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. Moving on to another question dealing with exponents. So what we have to do is write each of these exponents in expanded form, and then we have to evaluate each exponent, right? So give a final numeric answer for these. So let's start off with part A. We got two to the power of three. So if we write that in expanded form, what we're doing is we're taking that base and multiplying it by this many times. So we're taking two, multiplying it by itself three times. Right, and how would we evaluate this? Well, you could do this all in one shot if you want in your calculator. So two times two times two times two times two would give you eight. Or you could do it in steps. So you could go two times two, which would give you four. And then we still have this times two at the end. Then four times two would give you eight, like that. Expanded form, and then the final answer after we evaluate. So that's part A. Part B, we got negative three to the power of four. So what we would have, be careful with your brackets here, negative three times negative three times negative three times negative three. Okay, so from here, if we did this in steps, negative three times negative three, watch out with your signs here, negative times a negative would give you a positive. So we'd end up with positive nine, and we still have these two negative threes remaining. And then we'll have nine times negative three, a positive times a negative would give you a negative. And we still got that times negative three at the end. And then negative 27 times negative three would give us positive 81, like that. All right, so we end up with a positive. Just in general, as a heads up, whenever you have a negative value, some kind of negative base to the power of an even, exponent, right? We have an even number, which is four. That's always going to end up giving you a positive value. But whenever you have a negative base to the power of an odd number, we're going to see that in part E, the final answer would be negative. So if we had negative three to the power of three, the answer would have been negative 27. We would have multiplied by that extra negative three. All right, so this is a helpful um, rule to keep in mind. Now you got to be careful here, this negative, whatever this negative value is, it has to be in brackets for this to hold. We're going to see in a future video how, for example, negative 2 to the power of 4 and negative 2 to the power of 4 like that, right? Both of these are going to give different answers, right? So you got to make sure for this to hold that that base is in brackets, like it is over here. All right, moving on to the next one, we have a decimal, so we got 0.75 to the power of two, that would just be 0.75 times 0.75, which would give us 0.5625, so that would be the final answer for part C. And then part D, we got two over three to the power of four, so that would be two over three, times two over three, times two over three, times two over three, like that, right? So that's the expanded form. And so from here, what we can do is we can multiply all the numerators and then multiply all the denominators. If you wanna do it in steps, you could do two times two, which would give you four. And then we'd have three times three, which would give us nine. All right, so both of these are taken care of, but then we still have the two over three times the two over three. And then we'd have two times four, which would give us eight, nine times three, which would give us 27. All right, so both of these go away, but then we still have that two over three at the end. And then we'd have eight times two, which would give us 16, 27 times three would give us 81, like that. So that would be the final answer, and you can't simplify that fraction right there. Okay, so you can do it in steps like this. Maybe your teacher will require that, or you can multiply just the numerators two times two times two times two, or two to the power of four. Another way, you'll see this in the future with exponent laws when you have a fraction, this basically equals that numerator to the power of four over that denominator to the power of four. Right, so two to the power of four, or two multiplied by itself four times, gives you 16. 
3 multiplied by itself four times gives you 81. Okay, so that's another um, rule you're going to see come up. That's going to be in future videos here. We're just dealing with the fundamentals of expanding and then evaluating. Okay, and then finally, we have what's going on here. So let's split this up. We got negative 3 to the power of 5. So this would be negative 3 over 5 times negative 3 over 5 times negative 3 over 5. Again, you can multiply all of these um, right away. So this would be negative 3 to the power of 3, which would give us negative 27. And 5 to the power of 3 would give us 125. So the final answer is this. Now, if you do it in steps, negative 3 times negative 3 would give us positive 9. 5 times 5 is 25. So just multiplying these two brackets, we would, then we still have this bracket remaining. 9 times negative 3 gives us negative 27. 25 times 5 gives us 125. So we get that same answer. All right, so just a couple of examples of where we're given an exponential expression, show it in expanded form, and then evaluate it.